Okay, going to show you the Catholic roots of the charismatic movement, the charismatic Catholic renewal, where the charismatic movement is going back to their mama, the harlot of Rome, the Roman Catholic Church. Because the charismatic movement and Rome are of the same wicked antichrist spirit. It's filled with devils, I'll put it that way. I'm going to read this article on the char on, this is on Wikipedia, the charismatic Catholic renewal. Uh, so it says, the Charismatic Catholic Renewal is a movement within the Roman Catholic Church that is part of the wider Charismatic movement across historic Christian churches. When they say historic, they're referring to pagan Roman Catholic churches and Charismatic devil buildings. You know, if that's too real for some Charismatics to take, just get right with God. Seriously. Okay, your phony gifts of the Spirit are done by devils. Okay, you're doing it by the power of devils. Okay, flipping around and flopping around and, and jumping and barking like a dog and, and flopping like a fish. You think that's a gift of the spirit? No, it's devils. It's witchcraft, and this charismatic Catholic movement is full of witchcraft. And these these historical, you know, historic charismatic churches, they're full of witchcraft. And these charismatic prophets, they're into witchcraft. It's it's a it's a satanic ecumenical bond. So it's part of the wider charismatic movement. It has been described as quote the current as as the as a current of grace. It began in 1967 when Catholics from Darkwinds University attended a Protestant worship service and claimed to have been baptized with in the Holy Spirit. It is heavily influenced by American Protestantism, especially Pentecostalism, with an emphasis on having a personal relationship with Jesus, deep emotional experiences, and expressing the gifts of the Holy Spirit. That's the thing, deep emotional experiences. Not scripture, not following the Bible, but let's go by our experiences. Why? Because the charismatic Catholics, one thing that charismatics and Catholics both have in common, they don't hold the Bible to the final standard. They hold their experiences and their traditions and their feelings above the Holy Scriptures. Let me show you a verse of scripture on that, by the way. Let me just, just so I can hammer my point down. First Corinthians, first Corinthians uh, chapter four and verse six. First Corinthians four, six. And these things, brethren, of the any and these things, brethren, I have in a figure transferred to myself and to Apollos for your sakes, that ye might learn in us not to think of men above that which is written, that not that not that no one of you be puffed up for one against another. See, but charismatics and Catholics, they think of men above that which is written. That's what they do. That verse describes and condemns them right there. And by the way, their gifts of the Holy Spirit are not biblical. Their gifts of the Holy Spirit are done by the power of devils plain and simple they're not done as a, they're, they're not biblical okay where in the bible are you flipping around like a fish and barking like a dog and running around doing hoop, cartwheels and hoops hula hoops and whatever with hula hoops or doing you know cartwheels and and um jumping jacks and everything where is that in scripture it's not in there it's devil possession cardinal leo joseph sunnians described the charismatic renewal as quote not a specific movement the renewal is not a, a movement in the common sociological cause it does not have founders it is what it does have a founder it's the antichrist that's who the founder is the founder is the antichrist and satan that's the founder of this charismatic catholic renewal is because it's a movement of witchcraft and satanism and occultic mysticism Okay, I did a video showing the ancient Egyptian heathen roots of these charismatic faking of the gifts of the spirit. It all goes back to ancient Babylon, ancient Egypt. Quote, not a specific movement. The renewal is not a movement with a common sociological cause. It does not have founders. Oh, I already read that. It includes a great variety of realities. It, it is a current uh, of grace, a renewing of, spirit, of the spirit for all members of the church, Italy, uh, laity, religious, priests, and bishops. Uh, by the way, According to the scriptures, First Peter chapter, uh, f I think it's second. Sorry, First Peter chapter two, verses five to eight. All believers are priests. And by the way, uh, priests and bishops. You know, obviously they're referring to what would be called a pastor. A bishop and pastor are just two titles for the same office. Okay, a bishop. There's the bishop is not some kind of separate office from the overseer. They're the same office. But of course, charismatic Catholic tradition is trumping the word of God. It is a challenge for us all. One does not become part of the renewal, rather the renewal becomes part of us, that, uh, that we accept the grace it offers us. There's no grace There's no grace inside the Roman Catholic Church. It's works-based righteousness. Same thing with the charismatic movement. It's all works-based righteousness. According to Father, you know, call an old man Father, Matthew 23, verse 9, uh, Ranio Catala Massa, he, quote Jesus Christ, is no longer just a set of theses and dogmas, no longer just an object of worship and of remembrance, but a living reality in the spirit. What spirit are they talking about? 
what spirits are they referring to? Well, it's the spirit of Antichrist, because that's what all these Charismatics and Catholics are of, the spirit of Antichrist. Because they're a bunch of witches, that's all they are. Okay, you may think I'm being too harsh, they're leading people astray with this, by faking these gifts of the spirit. Catholics who practice charismatic worship usually hold prayer meetings outside of Mass that feature prophecy, faith, healing, uh, glossa, glossalia, am I saying that right? And uh, in Ann Harbor, Michigan, in Ann Arbor, Michigan, a Catholic church describes the charismatic worship as uplifted hands during songs and audible praying in tongues. Uh, praying in tongues? Please show me chapter and verse for that. Where in Acts 2 are they praying in tongues? No, they're praying to devils. That's what they're doing. They're, they're invoking devils. And they're speaking in tongues by the power of devils. That's all that it is. According to theologian uh, Peter Hawken, Tony Rich, and, uh, and Christopher Stephenson, the Catholic charismatic renewal is intrinsically ecumenical and has given rise to, to, co to covenant communities with members from major Christian denominations who lead, quote, a shared life based on baptism in the Holy Spirit. Not a shared life on the gospel, no, but baptism of the Holy Spirit, because they're a bunch of baptism regeneration heretics as well. They believe that baptism saves them. Perceptions of the charismatic movement vary within the Catholic Church, although it has been favorably regarded by at least four popes. Proponents hold the belief does not contain charisma, uh, charismata, the Greek word for gifts. Uh, hold the belief. Oh, sorry. Proponents hold the belief that, that certain uh, charismata are still bestowed by the Holy Spirit today, as they were in early Christianity, as described in the Bible. Critics accuse charismatic Catholics of misinterpreting, or in some cases, violating church teachings on worship and liturgy, liturgy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, trad traditional Catholics in particular argue that charismatic practices shift focus away uh, focus of worship away from relevant communion with Christ and the Eucharist and towards individual emotions and non-liturgical experiences as a substitute. Well, so do they. Non-liturgical? What about non-scriptural? But you see, they don't care about the Bible. It's all about liturgical and this and that. They're both just a bunch of baptized pagans. And the, tra the traditional Catholics, you know, the, the Christ and the Eucharist, that is cannibalism. It's, it's ancient Babylonian cannibal cannibalistic ritual. That's what the Mass is. It is satanic. You're eating Jesus Christ. That is satanic. It's cannibalism. You're eating flesh and drinking blood, condemned in Leviticus 17. You know, but of course they hold their heathen traditions, their heathen Catholic charismatic traditions above the Holy Scriptures. So... I'm not going to read this whole article. You can read the whole thing. I'll put it in the description, but just wanted to read that first part of it of how this charismatic Catholic renewal is basically pushing in, yeah, for the Antichrist. It's ecumenical bondage. It's ecumenism, uh, just a bunch of satanic bondage into ecumenical Antichrist New World Order spiritual deception. That's all that it is. And the charismatic movement and the Catholic Church are both of the spirit of Antichrist. You know, they don't have the gift of the spirit. Their gifts are being mimicked by devils. Just like how Elijah was able to call down fire from heaven in 1 Kings 18 and 2 Kings chapter 1, verse 10 to 14, the Antichrist will be able to call down fire from heaven by the power of Satan in Revelation chapter 13, verses 13 to 15. And as these charismatics and, and Pentecostals and, and Catholics are of, that same wicked spirit of Antichrist. So just don't be deceived by this renewal. Uh, it is of the devil. It's ecumenical Satanism. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.